This is our last fight in the 30 pound weight class for the NHRL 2024 season. And it could not be more appropriate. Two absolutely gorgeous custom robots here. Um, Five, built by four, incredibly three, smart engineers. Two, one. Fight, robots, Baby fight. Go. Good fast start here for Megatron. So far, Megatron able to shrug off some of these hits, but he has to be so careful in his driving. He cannot rush into this. Now, this was a fight that Chunky had anticipated earlier uh, in, in the, the day. I saw it yesterday. This is a special configuration specific. There it is. For That's Megatron. the moment Jamison needs to jump on, and he does. He needs to stay, keep the pressure going, and he's trying. Really what you need to do is slow down the shell somehow, smash it up against uh, the house spot or against the rail, and then come in and try and get it onto there it its is head. Again. Here we go. He's going to control this. He's going to try and hit the top. He does. Now, if he could cleave through that self-riding bar, that would make this job a whole lot easier. It absolutely would. Now, Luke, he's got to stay on top of this. Megatron is already showing Probably 75% compromise on his front plow. That does not have a lot of hits left. Looks like a big tiger claw just right across the front of the plow on Megatron. Now we saw a little smoke earlier. It may be that that's the weapon on Chunkiv. Uh, it doesn't seem to be spinning up. It could be that Jameson's just keeping them on the ropes. We don't know yet. Yeah, that shell is not spinning up on Chunky. That said, that whole shell is a tank. It is armored the full way around. Even with 100 hits, it's going to be hard for Megatron to really get a lot of penetration here. A minute 20 left here before we crown a Golden Brett winner here in the 30s. Jameson Go would love to add a second Golden Brett to his trophy case here for Megatron. I see a little bit of smoke coming out of the top of Chonkiv. Uh, there's a chance that they could work their way off, spin a bit, use that to kickstart their weapon. We've seen that a few times from uh, big shell spinners, but the more smoke you see, the less chance of that happening. This is the most damage that we've seen Chonky take in the, uh, the competition here today. You can see that self-riding arm starting to get caved in. Match here is pause. Yeah, they are hooked together. They can't free from one another, so uh, our cage staff is going to do that for us. At least, uh, well, first, we're going to try to have the house bot do it for us. If that doesn't work, then it's going to be up to the cage staff. Yeah, it looks like maybe uh, Megatron's plow hooked uh, part of that shell here. Yeah, it does appear that way. I wonder, I have to wonder, if the front plow was redesigned or at least chosen from a selection of front plows with the intention of hooking up underneath of Chonky. I don't know. Now, these two robots last met in April, and I will tell you, Jameson Go went home to Massachusetts and thought about this fight and this configuration for the last six, seven months. Yeah, yeah he didn't sleep, didn't eat. Uh, nothing but thinking about this fight. That's a mild exaggeration, but with Jamison, probably not that mild. Yeah. Uh, oof, you can see that is a heavy robot. Successfully de-intertwined. We're going to move them apart just a little bit, just enough to show that they are uh, absolutely and unquestionably not entwined with one another. We're going to see what happens when we unpause this fight. Is Megatron going to immediately scoop up Chonky and push it up against the rail again? Maybe land a couple more big hits here on the top. If they want to have a chance, we're going to need to see Chonky like, just try to spin up. It needs to happen now. If it doesn't, then this is 100% Megatron's game. It will take a miracle. All right, that shell has not come back yet on Chonky. That's a lot of movement, but not a lot of movement of the shell. In yeah. fact, it may well be seized up. Normally, you'd at least see it spinning uh, passively. Yes. Uh, and we are not seeing any of that. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's making connection um, with Megatron. Uh, bumping up against the rail, you would see it spinning freely. Yeah, you can 
granted, remember, you... Oh, this is interesting. Remember, if uh, the two get entangled again, or rather, if Megatron can't uh, undo its pin a second time, that could be a problem for Megatron. It's going to try awfully hard. It does. It succeeds. Uh, but yeah, that could... We're coming down to the last 10 seconds here. This is going to go to a judge's decision, but that was a pretty dominant performance from Jameson Go and Megatron. I think that Megatron will be going home tonight with a second Golden Brett. Winning the Golden Brett in 2021, very likely winning the Golden Brett here in 2024. Jameson Go showing that this unconventional design has legs in 2024 taking it the distance. All right, oh. guys, we have an official decision showing up right here at the bottom of your screen. Let's check it out. Here it is. Yeah. Your winner, Jameson Go and Megatron. Daniel Van and his team should hold their heads high. That was a beautiful showing throughout the season from them. But let's toss it to Chris right now. Hey guys, congratulations to Chonky. I mean, you, you had a great showing today. Uh, J-Mo, congratulations. Your 30 pound winner here at the NHRO Championships. What's going through your mind right now? Many things. First thing I wanna say, I'm really happy to see Chonky in the Robo Jackets here in the finals. I'm a uh, Georgia Tech alum myself and to see what the organization with the club has done uh, this is an incredible piece of engineering. I'm really happy to see them here, to go against them. Uh, the second thing that's going through my mind, I had had so much help today from Aaron, from Liz. My parents are here, and without them, we couldn't have gotten the Megatrons ready for any of the fights. We had some really tough repairs we had to do earlier in the day. And this is just the culmination of everyone working really hard. Oh, er Eli and Alina as well. Uh, there's so many names. It, because of all those people working hard, we were able to get this far. So I'm incredibly happy and thankful. Chonky, as an example, Emulsifier, some of these other huge hitters, we're seeing like a surge in the 30 pound division where the competition is getting so intense. What makes Megatron the best? A constant, uh, looking for, consistently looking for opportunities to improve. Megatron was uh, kind of the king of the 30-pound scene in NHRL and when it first started with 30s, uh, Emulsifiers stepped up its game and was a total beast for the next two years. And then that inspired me, uh, those defeats inspired me to do some major innovations on Megatron. And now I think it's uh, back on the top, maybe. <laughs>